We first introduced you to Amanda Forrest two years ago. And I didn't know how to handle that. She shared her story of being coerced into a life of human trafficking. Now she's trying to help other victims. What we're trying to aim for is a survivor-centered approach. Amanda Forrest has created a new organization called Her Oceans. When we're dealing with survivors who've had um, multiple types of trauma and they're being, they've been abused through force, fraud, and coercion, um, we're really starting to step into a different field when you're working with the survivors and what law enforcement can do. Forrest hopes to bridge a gap between victims and government agencies on the federal, state, and local levels because she says oftentimes victims get removed from a human trafficking situation by being arrested. And that to an extent does pull them out of being exploited in the moment. However, we're not really giving them the tools that they need to exit and um, reconstruct their life so that they have uh, new survival skills, new survival techniques. So Forrest wants to bring together law enforcement, judges, the legislative branch, and human trafficking advocates to form a task force. It is a big challenge, but it's not something that we can't overcome. She believes by having a conversation and working together, it will not only help victims, but also make it easier to prosecute the buyers and the traffickers. Our community really is a great community. We have a lot of people who, when they hear a call to action, they step up. And so I have no doubt in my mind that we're totally capable of working together to bridge those gaps. It's going to take a little bit of time. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.